been going on. This is at the uh, EU, uh, the European Parliament, uh, the Commission's threat to reject France's 2015 budget. That's right, and the French media just can't get over it. Uh, Le Pignon says that France has lost its credibility because of this, well, fight to come between Paris and Brussels. What I like about Le Pignon today is this cartoon where you can see Hollande with a little rain cloud over his head there talking to uh, Jean-Claude Juncker, so the European Commission president-elect. Hollande is saying, we can't do any more. Uh, French people have already been shaken up by all sorts of reforms. And Juncker says, which reforms? And he says, well, the reforms carried out by the Spanish, the Italians, Greek, Irish, German, and any anyone but the French. So uh, Le Pignon seems to suggest here that France has its own reforms to carry out. Yeah, it puts uh, President Francois Hollande's government it's a very difficult position, though, doesn't That's it? That's right. Le Figaro, the right-leaning paper, is very happy about this and says that, uh, well, Hollande, he's caught between a rock and a hard place. The rock is the European Commission that's calling for more economic reform, more austerity measures. And the hard place uh, is the group of socialist rebels we've been hearing so much about, les frondeurs, uh, the left wing of the Socialist Party, that basically is critical of the government's austerity uh, measures and its pro-business economic policy in general. So... Le Figaro says that both of these groups are making contradictory uh, demands, and the French president, well, he's caught right in the middle. Anything he does is going to upset one of these groups. Uh, and in its uh, editorial, Le Figaro says that Hollande is caught in a trap that's closing around him, because on the one hand, he's promising these socialist rebels that his policies aren't austerity policies, and then he's promising the European Commission that France is making incredible belt-tightening measures, so basically austerity measures. Uh, and uh, according to uh, Le Figaro, what's meant to happen happened, neither side believes him anymore and he's very much all by himself. Yeah, Le Figaro is saying that uh, he's very isolated at the top, aren't That's he? right. Le Figaro, once again, remind you, it's the right-leaning paper, says you can't get more lonely than François Hollande these days. And they quote one of his ministers who prepares, who prefers rather to stay anonymous. He says that ever since the government got back from summer recess, you get this sense that Hollande is really sad, uh, as if he's reached his limit and he's asking for mercy. I think he's just fed up and wants to be loved. So that's a minister that's quoted <laughs> in Le Figaro. At least Hollande still has some faithful cheerleaders, though. Yeah. And one of them is uh, this man. You can see uh, Claude Bartholone. He's the president of the lower house of parliament, l'Assemblée Nationale. And he gives what's a pretty surreal interview to Aujourd'hui en France. He's, it's, it's as if he's saying, crisis? What crisis? Everything is fine. Uh, he says that there are some disagreements uh, within the left, but he says that the Socialist Party has never been less divided than uh, since, since uh, Hollande uh, was elected. To quote him, he says, I don't believe one second that there's a political crisis. I mean, this is incredible. Mm. It's definitely something you don't hear a lot in France these days. OK, let's talk about the opposition, shall we? Change tack. Nicolas Sarkozy uh, still in the press for his legal woes that could uh, thwart his uh, political comeback. That's right. Another day, another legal <laughs> pro Row. for, <laughs> for uh, Nicolas Sarkozy. Yeah. First of all, there's the big Malion scandal. We've been hearing so much about this major legal scandal that's rocking the opposition UMP party. Just to remind you, it centres around uh, well, allegedly fake invoices for Sarkozy's 2012 re-election campaign. Big Malion is the name of a PR firm that was founded by this man you can see right here, uh, he, Bastien Milou. Now, he is under uh, investigation for his complicity uh, in these allegedly fake invoices, and he has finally broken his silence on this. Uh, and you can read about it here in the Express what's incredible about this, what he says, is that he says there was no way that Nicolas Sarkozy was not aware of what mm -hmm. was going on. Right, OK, that's going to put him in hot water, isn't it? And now there's another new scandal um, involving the sale of helicopters to Kazakhstan. That's right. I can't believe there's one more. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> How many are we going to lose track? We're on about five, aren't we? <laughs> that's right. This is Le Monde that's, uh, that's breaking this story. Uh, you can see here. Uh, now, they're, they're calling it Kazakh Gate. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little bit complicated. I'll try to break it down for you. Uh, basically, uh, yesterday, Le Monde broke that uh, in March 2013, French judge judges formally opened an investigation into allegations of, uh, of illegal kickbacks in the sale of 45 helicopters mm -hmm. to Kazakhstan in 2010. So that's when Nicolas Sarkozy was president. Uh, now, according to Le Monde, two uh, high-ranking advisors to Sarkozy during his time as president have been detained by police and were questioned about this sale that was worth 2 billion euros. So a lot of money involved here. Now judges are probing into allegations of money laundering, bribery of foreign officials and conspiracy to cover up these crimes. So 
pretty big uh, deal. It's a pretty big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's really explosive about this, and that's the exact term that Le Monde uses, it's explosive, is that Nicolas Sarkozy is suspected of being directly involved. So we are certainly going to hear about this Kazakh gate a lot in the days to come. I suspect we are. Flo, you are no longer our press reviewer. You are our scandal correspondent, OK? We've renamed her. Flo Vilmano, <laughs> you're on Force Fan Cap. Coming up, we've got a, a death-defying trial biker for you on the 